black folks do not talk about ecology and the environment. We, we that voice in, in poetry and spoken word is so largely absent. We don't address that issue, and I think it's very important. Um, so I really wanted to write that. And as I was sitting at the beach at my favorite place where they were sprinkling my ashes in North County, um, overlooking the ocean, I I was writing and I and I started the, the lines. Um, that, that really connect to the trees and, and the beach and all of that, that was really happening. And I transitioned to Claire de Lunes to finish the poem, and I realized I was talking about race and ethnicity. And that, that activism, that passion just wasn't my truth. And so it sort of came out of that. Um, but I, I enjoy the poem and I, I continue to do the poem because I feel it's necessary for us to think about these issues as linked. The issue of racism as linked with uh, sexism, as linked with homophobia, and of course linked with the environment, that it's really about love, 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 and not, to use the previous term, not penetrating everything to the core and damaging it. So if we can learn to love each other and for, for our differences in terms of race, we can learn to love the environment, we can learn to love people we may not understand their lifestyle, we may love people beyond their gender. So that's where this comes from. He asks, if we don't see people in terms of color, then we can't be racist and stuff, right? So I asked him, have you ever seen a tree, like you can hear Michael Jackson's verse song right now, right? Have you ever seen a tree whose leaves were the perfect shade of green? Or been to a beach where the water was so clear you could see through to the existence of God have you found a piece of earth precisely matched to the color of your skin and you knew what it felt like to be home. We exist in colors. And as different as the rocky shores of Nice is to the desert sand of the Sahara, we are all beautiful. Who doesn't see the textures of clouds when rain falls in the distance? How the petals of flowers look different from the blades of grass. Who doesn't see the ocean stroke and kiss the shore delicately, even though it has the power to rip land like an unwanted poem? Weeds are not dandelions growing in the Bermuda grass. It is the green golf course growing in the Las Vegas desert. Litter is not the sunflower seeds on the concrete. It is the brown haze looming over the San Bernardino Basin. Racism is not a black person who votes for a black president and y'all just hopefully voted for a brown man <laughs> who appoints a brown Supreme Court justice. Racism is flesh-colored band-aids which don't match my flesh. It is two aisles of hair products with no activated gel or pink lotion. Racism is a grocery aisle with kimchi and hummus labeled next to each other under the category of ethnic food. There are people content to reducing robins and canaries as just birds, as sea lions and koalas are just animals, as people in poverty and primates are just not quite human. There are people who ignore the difference in our skin yet pledge allegiance to a system that benefits from it. They are conquerors who occupy land and space for conquering, occupy spaces on this earth, occupy spaces in our minds, Bible us till paper cuts bleed our hearts away from the creators. They enslave rainforests and the same breath as Africans, they rape countries for diamonds, and Cambodian girls for bragging rights without ever washing the grief from their genitalia. try to convince us that evolution has a higher order than equality, then write social policies pretending that all humans are equal. How could you ever say that we are equal when I call myself black? even though I am the color brown, that you call yourself brown, even though you are the color tan, that he called himself white, even though he was the color of a milkyish, creamyish, <laughs> rosyish kind of color, that he had never had to express because he's never been objectified. How can we believe in these colorblind lies, racism, is a Gold Coast oil spill cleaned up with smallpox blankets. There are no accidents. Colonialism is deforestation by burning, and we are the saplings of poison, carbon dioxide, who struggle to grow branches without the roots of our fathers. We are crops in Dustville, Nebraska. We are gum trees in Indonesia. We are African and Indian elephants with no tusks who roam the countryside, but less than of our identities. We are colors of this earth but we are rich 
with stories and experience, though they haven't been told since the days the continent has drifted. He stopped me in the middle of my sentence and said, so, are you saying it's not okay to be colorblind? I said, we dream in shades of gray, but our reality is full of color. 